Hi, hello, welcome to Motion Design. We are going to see today a couple of techniques that are very related to each other. So I'm going to merge them in the same exercise. What you will see here is um, the first method. Everything is on the PowerPoint as always. Uh, how to create uh, a, a solid and apply an audio um, effect. We are going to work as well with another interesting property, which is uh, called convert audio to keyframe. And it's based on transforming this data from the amplitude of the waveform to uh, different keyframes. Once in After Effects, we are going to create a new composition, new composition or Control N. Remember, we are going to be working always with 4K and 25 frames per second. So it doesn't matter the, the duration. And in this case, I'm going to go for a, a gray color. We are going to create a new solid. Okay, I'm going to go for black. For simplicity, you can maybe work or try with different effects like, uh, you know, ramps of color or, I don't know, elaborate your own more sophisticated background. So in effects and presence windows, we are going to look for audio spectrum. For example, audio spectrum, and you just uh, you know uh, bring it to the to the solid. You will see that the solid automatically loses uh, its color. I mean, it means that it's applying to transparent. Uh, so that means that maybe what we are going to have to do is another another layer. So this one is going to be wave. And uh, we are going to create a new solid. Okay, and this one is going to be, okay. So I'm going to put this one here. The effect is already here, but you will only see uh, a line of dots, which is, it is normal. What you need is uh, a file of, uh, a file containing all the information. So I brought this one from the internet. It's just, uh, you know, the beginning of this song, Smoke on the Water. And uh, well, this, this should be including audio. You see here, uh, this means that is including audio. But just to be sure, you have to be here in audio labels, waveform. And you see here, the information is there. You can always increase a little the audio if you think that it was uh, very low so that's that's a very famous song okay select the layer let's go to the effect here and be sure that the audio layer information is extracted from the file okay the file with the audio now it should be linked you see here some movement but it's very very low and you won't see a significant change. So you need to change the following parameters. First one is the height. Okay, it needs to be massively increased. So we are talking about maybe 8,000. Okay, let's see. You see something there already, no? You can go even for something larger. Okay. Yeah, much more interesting now. Then uh, obviously the audio duration of the waveform in relation to the audio or the offset, if you want to uh, make that to uh, happen before or after, you know, a particular sound. Okay, I'm going to change the thickness as well. Okay, you see how that is much more visible. And I'm going to change also the softness to be much more sharp. Okay. Another interesting thing is that this is only one of the different things that you can display. It's called digital, digital uh, waveforms, but you can put also analog lines, which you will see it's more similar to an electrocardiogram or an ECG or anything like this. No, it's more kind of that. Okay. Or you can put also dots. Okay, yeah. so these are different things that can be visualized with this effect. Okay, if you go to a uh, digital uh, 
this one obviously is going to depend on the frequency. When we talk about the frequency, basically we are referring to the number of bands because, uh, you know, the larger is the frequency, more bands, some, you know, more lines within this band, this period of time. Okay, so if you see that, it really takes the form of a, a wave, okay, much more, you know, much more soft. And then obviously you can modify softness as well. Okay, so that's that's a different thing. Okay. Uh, another thing you can change obviously is is the color. Okay, although another possibility is, is to change the color here. Okay, you see that this is uh, changing the color in relation to the spectrum, so it's not applying at the same time everything. Uh, you can also change the values here. Okay, so this is the inside color, so it's going to be like greenish or whatever. And then uh, this one I'm going to be uh, more on uh, something more red. Okay, something like that. Okay, so this is uh, one of the things uh, we are going to, to do. Just to note that you can do different uh, waveforms, for example, duplicating this one. Okay, you could duplicate that and then the, the second one can have, a, you know, different color. Like, for example, you know, a more kind of a yellow and then, yeah, a, for example, blue or whatever. So obviously you can do many combinations like this. And when doing this, what you can do is is modifying the the height, so it is you know uh, on the back. So this doesn't seem to be that interesting, but we are going to change that to maybe dots, so that way, yeah, that way uh, it's much more visible the difference between these two. So you can play as much as you want with these things and do your own thing. You can also use this tool, the path, okay? So if you, you create a path, it can follow that. The way to do that is, is obviously with a mask, okay? So it has to be probably in the same layer. So let's do it with, which one is this one? This one is the one inside, okay? And this one is the one outside, no? Okay, so the thing is, if you do that, it's going to follow just one of those. Okay, so we are going to be duplicating the mask, I guess. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to create a mask and the mask is going to be, you know, something like this. Okay. Uh, and then this is the mask one. So I'm going to say, follow the mask one. Okay, and then I'm going to copy the mask one to the mask to this one. And in this one, I'm going to make that to follow as well the mask one. Okay, so. Okay, oops, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Okay, so now it applies everything to, well, I'm just duplicating the effects. Okay. Okay, so another thing I'm going to be working with is text. So I'm going to create a, a layer of text, say deep purple. Okay. And uh, well, I could display more information like the name of the song. Uh, I don't know, uh, you know, the album or the duration or the time code, no? But doesn't matter, we are going to try only with one element of text here now. For this effect, I'm going to try to extract the information from the audio uh, in the form of keyframes. You have to go keyframe assistant and you have to do convert audio to keyframes. Okay. So uh, this automatically has created the different things inside uh, inside this null object 
okay so you see left right and both channels what is maybe recommended is just to get rid of the right and the left channels okay what it gives you is a slider that is reproducing exactly the values of uh, you know the amplitude of the uh, audio okay well the amplitude if you don't uh, know what it is is basically this distance no between here and here so what i'm going to do is to take these values okay from here to here these values based on the height of the wave in order to affect another property of another object of the composition in this case i'm going to do it with the properties on the purple text so imagine for example that can be either modifying the position or for example maybe more simple I'm going to do it with the scale. So select S for a scale, and you see here, and it can be uh, modified, but what I'm going to do is to link or parent this to the properties in the slide. When you see that, you see it copies these values, but this is very small because previously it is by default, uh, you know, quite small. Yeah, you see it's there, but obviously not as big as it should be. So what I'm going to do is uh, to have a look at the expression. You see here, this is the expression. For example, I'm going to add an increment of 100 and 100 for each dimension, for X and Y. The keyframe assistant has created all these um, uh, keyframes and they are uh, linear and they are sampling like every single keyframe. So one thing that you can do is just simplify this using the smoother. You select the slider, you, you go for a smoother, and then you apply a tolerance of one or two in this case maybe, and uh, just apply that. And you will see that it simplifies the uh, animation and this is all for today. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, now is the moment that you can use for playing with different effects and see how you have to adapt your expressions to be able to be uh, playing with the properties of the audio. I hope you find that interesting. I think it's very, very fun stuff. And I hope to see you soon.